Tony Gonzaga's hosting stint in the recent Binibining Pilipinas 2015 pageant at the Araneta Coliseum got mixed reviews. Viewers reacted to how Gonzaga incorporated humor to the most prestigious beauty pageant of the country. Many netizens praised Gonzaga on how she added fun to the event, making it a less formal for a change. DJ Casey Montero said, Tony Gonzaga is the most sarcastic host to ever hit the Binibining Pilipinas stage. I love it. Can we just give all the crowns to Tony Gonzaga? Becky Mon, an internet sensation, loves the way Gonzaga did her hosting job and looking forward to see more of her hosting in the next Binibining Pilipinas pageants. I so love Tony Gonzaga's wit. Love you, Tony. Your earrings has its own theme song, Chandelier. Ha ha ha, shoota, tawang tawa ako. Miss Tony Gonzaga for Binibining Pilipinas. Yes, please. Some netizens also applauded Gonzaga for being herself in the show. Good hosting job, Tony Gonzaga. As usual, kwela at magaling talaga. I love that Tony Gonzaga did not stick to the usual beauty pageant problem. Humor is what this type of event sorely lacked. But top local fashion designer Carrie Santiago finds her hosting approach rude to the candidates. Tony, you're being rude to the candidates whose nerves are shot already. Meanwhile, Binibini Pilipinas Universe 2000 Nina Ricci Alagao didn't like how Gonzaga handled her hosting stint. According to her, Gonzaga's behavior was appalling and disrespectful and adding that hosting a prestigious beauty pageant may not be for her. On the pageant host appalling conduct remarks, I admired how Casey Concepcion handled not so satisfactory answers a few years ago and managed to make Filipinas look good in the eyes of the judges, especially the foreign ones, despite those Q&A blunders. This time I sense overconfidence almost to the point of arrogance and the way she prodded some of the judges to proceed with the Q&A was as if she was at par with these well-respected people in terms of age and experience. She's lucky she's 30 and is where she is in life at this point. Try going back 15 years to the time when she was brown-skinned, her nose untrimmed, to the time when she would pass by and you would not take notice, and the time she was not allowed into a TV network building because she was mistaken for an alalay. Maybe that would remind her how it once felt to be humiliated and be a little more forgiving with people who aren't perfect. With all due respect, the Binibini Pilipinas beauty pageant is the country's most prestigious beauty pageant and is not a venue for ridicule and disrespect by a host. I hope she realizes that the one person she ridiculed the most for the world to see was none other than herself proving that even though she may have hosted many events and shows in the past, hosting a prestigious beauty pageant may not be for her. As my good friend direct Edu Pelliora put it, leave that kind of hosting to PBB, not BBP. She made another Facebook post to give some clarifications to her previous statement and it says, I apologize. If it will appease her fans, then I apologize, but not without pointing out a few things. Just because I said what I said in my previous post, it doesn't necessarily mean I'm not also a fan of hers. I admire her confidence and determination. I have seen all her movies, been moved to tears and burst with laughter with her acts, and will continue to do so in the future. That doesn't also mean I did not defend her in the past when people spoke ill of her. And best of all, I admire her for having stayed chaste in a world where it's easy to be weak and stop adhering to such virtues. When one points out a person's mistake, that doesn't say anything about whether he or she hates the person. When a mother scolds or reprimands her children, it doesn't mean she loves them any less. On bringing back the past, I find nothing wrong in looking back and seeing how much better life has become. It will be a constant reminder that we should aspire to improve ourselves every day and with every experience. 
my friends know I have nothing against self-improvement of any kind, whether in attitude or appearance, if it boosts a person's self-esteem. Going under the knife is something I have yet to explore and will not judge those who have done it. I believe it to be a powerful tool in making people's lives better. I also didn't say that she was not a good host, nor did I say that I did not find her antics funny. As a matter of fact, I did, although I believe that we should apply humor where appropriate. I commend her for her effort to lift the candidate's spirits and ease their tension with her jokes, but I wish they were more carefully chosen. Vice Ganda earned my respect when he delivered his question in a manner appropriate for a Binibini Pilipinas judge. Quite contrary to how he would normally handle such circumstances. With his bubbly humor and perky personality, indeed it was a class act. People will love us or hate us for what we do or say, and for how they interpret the things we do or say. I had my time of criticism in 2000. I looked like a horse, one for being smart not beautiful, didn't look anything like a beauty queen. It's endless, but I was gracious in accepting all those criticisms and used them for my betterment. This is not about fame or power, nor is it about the person in general. Please do not get the matter out of perspective. I am not nearly as well loved by fans as her, and definitely haven't gained half her fame, but that is not the whole point of my previous statement. So again, I apologize once and for all, and wish we'd all be open-minded about this. I did not criticize her, nor her performance last night in general. It was specifically the q and I tackled, and my intention was not how many of you my tub interpreted it. Other netizens also felt Gonzaga's style of hosting not appropriate for a prestigious beauty pageant like Binibini Filipinas. Tony Gonzaga may be funny and a good host, but last night was an exception, hindi kasi comedy bar and binibini Pilipinas te. Not for anything else, but really, Tony Gonzaga's hosting tonight was really crass. Tony Gonzaga is a celebrity who has achieved a lot. Her hosting career also blossomed when she was given a big break in ABS-CBN's reality show, Pinoy Big Brother. But one thing is for sure, Tony is not perfect, just like any of us. What's important is we learn to accept our mistakes and use it to fuel ourselves to be a better person. And to Tony Gonzaga, we pray that you will surpass this trying time. Stay beautiful inside and out. From your online friend, Chica Hanan. For more latest news, please subscribe and check out our other videos. You may also visit our website at chikahanan.blogspot.com. Thank you.